Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and I've <laughs> don't you know what? Uh, we're gonna make a green pair, a green yes, a green paradise today. And no, I've not been drinking. However, I've been really struggling to come up with a fantastic joke, and I just couldn't do it because everything I said sounded really, really stupid. Anyways, this is a shaken cocktail, and it's tropical in nature. So if you like tropical cocktails, this is definitely for you. So make sure you grab yourself your shaking glass. However, one of the ingredients that we need is orange juice. So grab yourself a sharp knife and grab yourself an orange. It's pretty sad when your oranges are the same size as lemons. Um, so you're gonna need to cut a few of them. And what you'll wanna do is you'll just wanna squeeze a whole bunch out because you're going to wanna make a couple of these cocktails. So you're gonna grab something else to squeeze these into. And you wanna make sure that you have at least three ounces or 90 milliliters. Now you can use regular store-bought orange juice, totally up to you. Just try and get something that doesn't have any sugar added because you don't wanna have your cocktail that's over sweet, right? And the natural flavors work out better. Grab yourself a shaking glass and we're going to start this with our rum. Now you need a white rum, I'm using a little bit of Bacardi and we're going to use a full pour of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now, if you don't like rum, you can use vodka. You could actually even use gin in this, although the flavors will vary depending on the type of gin you use. And I say that because it'll depend upon the strength of the juniper and any other flavors that you might have will probably work in this. In fact, they will. Uh, have fun with it. Like really, just have fun with this because it's your paradise. Anyways, you need a little bit of triple sec and we're gonna use a total of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now your next ingredient will be your orange juice. And one of the things you'll notice with this cocktail, it has a more orange profile. So you can adjust this any way you want. So because we're going to use three ounces or 90 milliliters of orange juice, you could choose to swap it and use a little bit more pineapple juice because you've got the triple sack and the blue carousel and all that great stuff. Your next ingredient will be your pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning it's 100% pineapple juice and there's no sugar added. And for this, we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. And of course, the next ingredient you're going to use is your blue curacao. Now this will give you more orange flavors. And based on how orange this is, to get it greener, you might add a little bit more. Now, you're supposed to use about three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of blue curacao, but you can adjust that up to about one ounce, which is 30 mils. Now your next step is to shake this with ice. And I've seen a couple of different ways that this cocktail can be presented. Some people will present this with crushed ice and shake it over crushed ice, but I'm going to use full cubed ice. Uh, mostly because I can sort of adjust accordingly and I'm not going to have a lot of extra left over. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you shake this hard with a smile. All right, pop this off with the strength of a thousand citrus fruits. And then because this is a green paradise, all you're going to do is free pour it directly back into the glass. Now, one of the good things about this cocktail is the orange juice and the pineapple juice will give you a little bit of natural foam. So to go with our orange flavor, we're gonna give ourselves a nice little orange garnish here. And you know what? Ah, there it is. Make sure you have a straw and go to it. <laughs> that is good. In fact, it's very orange. So, because I put in almost one ounce of the blue curacao, you can cut it back a little bit. Your color will change just slightly. And because there's so much orange, you could also cut the level of orange juice and swap in pineapple juice, or maybe a different type of fruit juice that you really, really like that'll kind of work and give you the same colors. If you like fantastic cocktails like this, take a look after the recipe card over here.